Hello everybody, it's Elena. I'm going to share with you today a gift I made for a lovely lady, really lovely person I met on in the crafting community. And uh, uh, I made it, so I was already packing the thing to send it to the post office and uh, uh, I realized I didn't make a video so I took it off the box because making a video is very important to me to give something back to the crafting community because I get a lot from the crafting community uh, as a for inspiration techniques and all so I, I love I really love to give something back and uh, the project is out was totally out of my comfort zone now you see why and uh, here it is and its simplicity makes it out of my comfort zone because when I start crafting on a, on a project I add lots of uh, bling, uh, lots of, sorry, trims and dangles and appliques and material and flowers, and pearls, and beads and everything, well you mention it while in this case I wanted to keep a vintage shabby look so I couldn't add many and many things and this is why it was it, it was quite difficult for me because I had to to refrain from adding whatever I see and think oh well this this would go well on the bottle no it wouldn't have gone well or else the bottle would have lost the shabby um, vintage look because this must look like something you find in the attic you find in, in a old house or at an um, antique shop or something. So I decided to use this bottle, it is very thick glass and I hope, please cross your fingers for me and for the, the recipient of the object because I hope she will receive it in one piece. Most of all she doesn't cut, she won't cut herself when she opens the box. I'm, I'm thinking of the worst scenario possible. So I've used this box, the sorry, this this bottle, and uh, it is a bottle of the common oil we use for cooking. It is uh, extra virgin oil. We cook with it with dressed salads and all. So uh, the bottle itself, as you can see here, was a, a dark amber color, which I loved. But uh, there was the brand of the oil embossed here in the glass and on the sides they embossed a little fork, a little spoon and I had to mask everything because this bottle is not about cooking. First of all I covered the, bo the, the bottle, well I, I think I keep saying the box, no it, it is a bottle. I covered the bottle with two coats of acrylic gesso and two coats of white acrylic paint. Once it was dried I added, I wrapped it all with this gorgeous lace, it is a roll of lace I bought from Fiona about less than one year ago, I think, but I, uh, and I wrapped it, of course adding a little dumps of glue here and there, I wrapped it starting from here and I just wrapped it randomly like this because it had to have a shabby look and uh, in some places, I don't know if you can see them it is not exactly stuck to the bottle, it raises a bit but this is what I was looking for and uh, I put it on the base too sorry, I painted the base and put the lace here too and uh, then the first thing I added was this beautiful image I found on Pinterest of a lovely cherub and uh, I distressed the image a bit using uh, Frayed Burlap by Tim Holtz and uh, Spun Sugar. I bought a tiny one of this, the mini one, because I don't use a uh, pink a lot. And then I cut a piece from a, a burlap sack my husband brought home. I washed and ironed it before using it and uh, I love this because I've never worked with, with burlap but I thought it was perfect for this kind of project. I love it because it frays a lot and the threads 
as you can see, are three th see through. If you see what I mean, I don't know if it is the right word. And then, uh, so I cut uh, a piece of burlap of the same whites of the the picture, glued it here. Go, I went all around the bottle, and then I glued it here on the other side of the picture. Then I used some um, trims I bought from Annie, whose channel is Miss Garden, Garden Grow. And uh, as you can see, everything has a powdery color. So this is some trim. You see how beautiful it is and delicate. And this rip of, rosé, of rosettes. And then I try to remember the, sec the sequence of what I, I did. Okay, then I added some more trims I bought from Annie. It is a fiber trim. trim. I just put one a piece around all around the bottle. I added this beautiful shabby rosette I bought from Fiona. I bought many strips of them. And uh, I made uh, a loop flower using some uh, genuine old, genuine vintage material I had at home and uh, the flower had in the center a rolled ribbon rose I made. Well, actually, this is my first one. I, uh, I made part of it using stitches and then I wrapped it all around, I rolled it all, all around and I added just a piece, a strip, just twisting it to finish it off. Of course, the loop flower petals were flopping all over like this. They were hiding, hiding the rose a little bit. So I had to fix the thing and first I added a four, five uh, rows, sorry, four or five rows of uh, uh, diamante mesh around the neck and then I cut a strip of, well a wide strip, quite a wide strip at wide and long strip of the chiffon material. It is genuine vintage too. I wrapped it all around like a scarf and I um, kept it in place using this wonderful bling. This is one of the wonderful blings Fiona sells. Look, it is sparkly, insanely sparkly. And uh, uh, this is it for the front part, I'm sorry. And then once I, I put this chiffon material all around like a scarf, I could uh, add little, very tiny dabs of glue to put some petal in place, some petals in place, so they didn't hide the, the upper part of the rose. And this is it for the front. And I was suffering, I tell you, because I wanted to add many, many other things, but I tried to uh, put them, for example, here and here. I want. I tried to add something, for example, strand of beads, strands of beads, and here and there, but they looked awful. They ruined the project. And then we go to the back. Let me put a stopper here. We go to the back. On the back. I just put a doily, this is a genuine vintage doily, I bought in a bundle of doilies from Fiona, and this rosette I cut from a strip. I didn't dye it, and at first I put this brown bead in, in the center, and then I took it off, because in my opinion, it uh, takes away something from the shabby look. I think it's, it, it looks much better without it. I hope you can see because it's white. So I decided against it. And uh, the final, and uh, then I added this piece of the chandelier. It is crystal. And uh, I liked uh, to keep uh, the original wire because it is twisted, it is quite rusted, and uh, uh, it was perfect for a shabby look. 
I hooked it here and fixed it, put it in place, uh, kept it in place, sorry, kept it in place with a little double glue. I hope you can see it. And uh, it dangles and it is very simple. And once again, I had to stop decorating everything. And then I want to add a stopper to the bottle. Well, also another thing I want to mention, which is not done um, just because it happened to be like that. I suffered a lot when I left the uh, rim of the opening of the bottle like this. It looks unfinished, which is something I hate when I want to make gift to someone. But that's how it was supposed to look. You see, it's quite a, it looks quite unfinished with white paint peeling off. And the effect, in my opinion, is that of chipped um, china. You can see some glass and you see it's not finished with the raw pearls like I wanted to do. It didn't fit at all. I tried, I just put it here without gluing it to see how it looked awful. So I, I took um, a resin diamante, a faceted piece, I love them, and I use them, sorry, it's the other, you see the back of it. I added here, but I didn't glue it in place because I don't know if the person, the lady, well, I think you've guessed, if you've guessed it's a lady, probably everybody guesses all, everybody guesses also who she is. Well, <laughs> I, I didn't glue it in place because probably she could, she could like to add some dried flowers in the bottle or use it for whatever purpose. So I wanted it, uh, I wanted she to be able to use it or not. And uh, I just glued around here some, <coughs> excuse me, this gorgeous um, little trim. I got it from Fiona too. I bought many lengths of it because it is very useful. The color is uh, not bright pink. It veers on mold, I think. And so I added it all around. I let it open here so it dangles. And in case she wants to use, she wants to close the bottle, she can. In case she wants to leave it open, here is the stopper. She can add, for example, a bunch of dried flowers. And so this is it. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope she likes it. And uh, like I said, please, I repeat this, please keep your, finger, keep your fingers crossed because I want it to reach her in one piece. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.